Our very own Ron Smiley will be biking for a cause as oh, well on Sunday. What's the park. weather looking like for these bicyclists? It's going to be cold. <laughs> Both the days are going to be looking at chilly weather. Hey, Saturday on top of the chill that's going to be there. In fact, Saturday morning is not going to be as cold as Sunday morning, but it's going to be windy and kind of damp out there. Sunday morning, just uh, clear skies will likely lead to those temperatures uh, down below 50 degrees and a number of places, and we could see 30s in a couple of communities as well. But yeah, the Pittsburgh uh, Sister Fibrosis uh, Cycle for Life is going on on Sunday morning. I'll be a part of that. You can head over uh, to one of my uh, pages on Facebook and uh, you can find out more information there. It's always a good time uh, helping out a good cause. 87 high temperature today. Uh, we're going to see today is by far the warmest or hottest day of the week. Uh, then we're going to see that temperature crash for the rest of the weekend. Evening rain storm chances winds out of the southwest 5 to 10 miles an hour. Hey, we do still have that moisture. Man, this is just going to be slowly and this is such good news for folks down to the south slowly moving off to the east is going to be just some moisture. It's going to be a damp one into uh, New Orleans today. We're watching this cold front that's moving out of uh, Michigan. It's actually right on top of Detroit right now right around the Fort Wayne area that is moving our way should be here this afternoon. I have it here. Uh, at least our rain chances starting to ramp up really after five o'clock. If you're up in Mercer County, though, hey, it could be a little bit earlier than that for you uh, that you get some of the rain and even maybe a thunderstorm by seven o'clock. Things are really starting to pick up places like Butler County down into uh, Washington County, Allegheny County. Uh, the rain showers starting to move in there. Couple of thunderstorms with some downpours will be possible and could potentially and I expect that one or two high school football games are going to have to be delayed because of the storms that are going to be sliding in tonight. So please be weather aware. We'll continue uh, to see rain showers through the overnight hours. These will move out of here by about uh, six, seven o'clock tomorrow morning. At least the best chance will. We'll still have some very isolated light drizzle in some spots, even with the wind speeds up on Saturday morning. So here's your rain chances. We have a good chance today into the overnight hours, and that's it for the next week. We need some rain. U.S. Drought Monitor maps coming out, and again, the story is just going to be our increasing level of drought that continues to move in from the south. So man, we need some rain big time way. Let's talk about today before the rain gets here. 57 year temperature right now should be sunny skies this morning. The clouds will move in later on today. Temperatures most places are in the 50s at this time, and I have our high temperature coming in at 87 degrees uh, today. Here's your seven day 87 today, but look at what happened. 64 that 64 on Saturday that's hit at midnight tonight. Most of the day we should be around 60 degrees, 68 your Sunday high. We're back to more seasonal weather heading into next work week.